How's it going? Hello. Yeah. Do you have any questions? No, I just got to record. Okay, that's fine. No, that's cool. Did you, did you need that bathroom, uh, uh, bathroom open? Yeah, I just had to lock it. I got to lock it. Alright. He's making a <laughs> nightly check to make sure nobody's sleeping in their sleeping bags. And locking it up. Don't blame you. Hello? My police officer. Uh, hi, police officer. Oh. Nice to meet you. Uh, Is it funny? Are you high? Uh, <laughs> no. No, I'm not. Oh, it's so good. I know. I told these guys, I said I didn't I didn't really want to wake you up. Didn't want to wake you up. Well, we can't have sleeping bags out here. Okay? I'll take it. Part of the camp. She's saying, you know, no, it just happened. Basically, we had a few people sleeping in sleeping bags tonight, and the officer had to come and wake them up. He was cordial about it. Either way. Either way, like, I've, my main plan is, like, after he to get to San Francisco. <coughs> Why? Because, like, that's just my first destination. And that's At least he knows what he's doing is wrong. Otherwise, he would be way more of an asshole about it. Yeah. I agree. Uh, like, one of our uh, friendly nighttime occupier friends has just stated, At least he knows what he's doing is wrong. Otherwise, he would be more of an asshole about it, as he put it. since I've been here for, since October. He's been the nicest one, you know. He's like more of a family man that like does his job and like goes home, you know. He apologized for waking people up in their sleeping bags. So I can say pretty much that he's a good officer, you know, because he like, he does his duty and go home to his kids or whatever, you know. That's, a, that's how I see it. You know, it's not like most officers out there in the world that fucking like harass, harass us about our sleeping bags and shit but you know I don't usually sleep with sleeping bags 
Is that I know about the Kaplan ordinance and you know I got an old Kaplan ordinance with a good friend of mine that I ain't even taken care of but I still have it and it's an old ticket I don't know how long was that how long was that ticket it was a while ago but maybe a year ago already or <laughs> It's been all right. I, still, I don't know about two, three years, and I still got a camping ordinance ticket for illegal camping. I never took care of it, so whatever. <laughs> well, you know, I just want to say my name is Kay, and I'm a 24 occupier in Sacramento. And you know, I just want to say to the occupiers out there, just keep occupying and spreading the news. That's what's up. Okay, just so we can do a head count real quick, we've got one person, he was woke up in a sleeping bag, unfortunately, two people, three people, there's our fearless leader, Cosmo, four people, five people, because Cosmo and me are together, six people, seven people, eight people, nine people, 10 people, 11 people, 12 people, 13 people, 14, 15 people out here tonight, people. We are most definitely occupying. So, two dogs. And... There's more vehicles. So did you want to say anything real quick? You told me to come over here. He has left one of the people using the sleeping bag un, uh, undisturbed. Yogi, one of our occupied friends, and you can blatantly see the color and the texture of the sleeping bag, so you can tell it's a sleeping bag. And he left him undisturbed. Selective enforcement at its best. Okay. He has left. I can get you to a better angle. And there is the officer returning to his car. There's people still in their bags. That is all for now. I will talk to you guys some more later.